Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah wa ba'd. My dear brothers and sisters, we talked about salah, we talked about preparing for salah, we talked about the condition in, in salah itself. Alhamdulillah, this is not exhaustive in any way. There's much more to be said. Uh, but because of uh, want of time, I'm going to keep it brief. I want to talk about now after salah what? Our great elder and our ustad, Maulana Yunus Patel, uh, Rahmatullah used to say, salah begins when you leave the masjid. And that's a beautiful thought to keep in our minds because that is the purpose of Salah. Salah is to bring about change in our lives. In the Salah, we remind ourselves of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla jalalu. And when we go out of the masjid, when we finish Salah, when we go out into the world, we practice this obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla jalalu. So Salah begins outside the masjid. Now in the Salah itself, if you look at it, uh, see the, as I mentioned the tasbihat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has great mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in, in ruku, we say, subhana rabbi alazim. My rab, subhana rabbi alazim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not, he, he, clo- he closely connected our, himself to us. Subhana rabbi al-ala in the sajda. So when we, when we have connected ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my rab who is al-ala, my rab who, who is al-azim, and then I go out to the masjid, how must I behave? I must behave in a way where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla jalaluhu is in, is, is in my life and I'm aware of the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So salah prepares me for facing the world. Salah prepares me by cleaning my heart, by filling my heart with the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by filling my heart with, with the tawakkul and reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we go forward into the world with this tawakkul, with this nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with this reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, without any stress, without any fikr of anyone and animals, anyone else in the world, we go forward and this is what Salah is supposed to do for us. Now, brothers and sisters, I remind myself and you, think about this and say, how does my salah begin after I, after I leave the masjid? What is it that I can do in, in order that the, the situation of salah that I am in, the, the iconic uh, symbol of the Muslim is the sajda is the sajda where a person is completely helpless and totally obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can my whole life be in a state of sujood? This is the purpose of salah, to bring my whole life into a state of sujood. Wa sallallahu ala nabil kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ar-rahim.